What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Just woke up and saw... <clears throat> so my eyes are all swollen and shit still. A thing on my Facebook that I kind of... Shut this message off. Fix this fucking camera. I'm going to make that shit square. So I saw something that popped off on my uh, my Facebook last night. If you go to my Facebook, you'll see it. It's a post I did, and today we're going to continue with the shut up about this series. We haven't done one of these in a while because I haven't really wanted anybody to shut the fuck up about anything. But <clears throat> today we're going to do... Shut up about the fucking messages. Shut up about the fluffy. The fluff. Okay? Shut up about the fucking fluff. It's fat. Own it. Own up to it. And shut the fuck up about the like, it's fluffy. I'm fluffy. It's fluff. Fuck you. Fluff is like shit that you put on a fucking peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter and fluff. That's what that is. Fluff is something you do to the pillow. Fluff is not on your body, goddammit. Okay? This whole thing stems from a girl who's on my Facebook, and she puts up a picture of herself, and she's like 40 pounds overweight, okay? She's technically obese. She's a short girl. She's like fucking small. And she says, oh, picture of the fluff, having a little fluff time, fluff season, hashtag don't care, hashtag no fucks given, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not a psychology major, but I've been around long enough. Okay, I've been around this fucking industry long enough. I've been around this sport long enough. I've been around people in general long enough. I've had enough fucking clients that are women and men to know what the fuck is going on here right now. And it pisses me off. Like, she's looking for validation from other people that she's not fat. She knows she's fat. And if she says, I'm fat, people are going to go, oh, stop calling yourself fat. They're not going to say you're not fat. They're not going to say that. They're going to be like, yeah, you're fat. You're obese. Okay, you look like shit. That's what they're going to say. Maybe not to her face, but that's what they're going to see behind her back. They're going to judge her, and she knows it. So what she does is calls attention to it herself, and I'm the king of this. If you call attention to something yourself, people can't attack you for it. They can't come after you for it. But if you call attention to yourself about something you don't like in a cute way, in a playful way, people will actually play back. It's like a fucking dog with a ball or a cat with a string. If you play with them, they'll play back with you. So you do the whole fluffy thing, you do the whole no fucks given thing, don't care, woke up like this, blah, blah, blah. And people go, well, you know, if she doesn't care and she's putting this up, then what the fuck do I have to say anything for because she doesn't care? Like they actually kind of buy into it a little bit, which is not true. You do care. That's why you're posting it. You're drawing attention to it so you can get those few people that either say, yeah, I'm super fluff too, which then makes you feel better about yourself, or you're not fluffy, hashtag looking good. Okay, people play back, they engage you, they interact with you, and make you feel better about yourself. Now, not that there's really anything wrong with this, but people don't understand what the fuck is going on. You guys don't really understand that the whole fluffy thing is really code for fat. Like when you were a kid, and I was a kid, husky. If you were husky, that was your parents' code for being fat. My kid is fat, therefore he's husky. When you got to school, motherfucker, we called you fat, okay? We didn't call you husky, you were the fat kid. You weren't the husky kid, you may be wearing husky fucking dungarees, but you were the fucking fat kid when you got to school, okay? That's just the way it was, the way it is, the way it used to be. It's not like that anymore. But now what happens is you have these individuals that want to play the game of the fluffy thing. And honestly, I think that, I don't want to say it's wrong, but it's a mental disorder that you can't validate yourself and say, fuck, I'm fat. I don't feel good about myself. I want to fucking do something else. I want to fucking take charge of my own destiny. I want to take charge of my own life. And I want to not be fat anymore. Instead, you're fucking lazy and you look for validation from others to make it okay that you're fat. Which is wrong. I feel that's 100% wrong and there's a lot of shit wrong in this fucking world with that. With shit like that nowadays. And it makes me fucking sick to my stomach that people would rather manipulate other people to validate what they feel about themselves. And then stay fucked up. Stay fat, stay poor, stay fucking whatever the case may be. But the bottom line is they don't take responsibility for themselves and change what they don't like about themselves. They would rather change reality, make their own reality, manipulate people to, into their own reality to get what they want rather than fucking actually doing something about it. It takes more effort to manipulate everyone around you and do all that shit on social media than it does to go do a half hour of cardio at the gym. The half hour of cardio at the gym actually can make you feel better and is something positive it will take less time overall mentally. And you can actually fucking work on yourself mentally while you do cardio. I do that too. And I actually do my emails. Like I get shit done while I'm actually doing cardio. Then trying to keep up this facade about don't care. Hashtag no fucks given. Fluffy. You know, like it's it's not a joke anymore. 
You know, I had some dumb fuck named Don pop on there. You guys can see him. I don't know his last name. Talking about how I'm mean. First of all, you're on my page, Don. Fuck you. We're not even friends on Facebook. You're reading my shit coming to my page telling me I'm mean. I'll put whatever the fuck I want on there. You have all sorts of weird shit wearing cowboy hats and shit on your fucking page. I don't, I don't even know who the fuck you are. And I don't give a fuck who you are. You came to me trying to fuck with me on my own page. Judging by the people that like that, shitloads of people think like I do. They just don't want to fucking say it. The problem is people don't have the balls today to say what they're thinking. And when they like it and they agree in the fucking comment section, there's like fucking hundreds of people that are fucking agree and a couple people that are offended by it. One girl didn't even know what the fuck I was talking about. She's like, you call somebody 10 pounds overweight fat? I never said that. This girl's like 45 pounds overweight. She looks like fucking shit. So I must have touched a nerve in this woman who thinks that 10 pounds over the fucking things. I never said that. This shit came out of her own fucking head. This guy Don starts firing his mouth off. And what I find interesting is a good friend of mine actually came on there and intervened and kind of injected himself into it. His name is Jay Clements, Jason Clements. And I've known Jay since fucking kindergarten. Okay, so probably 32, 35 years, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, about 31 years I've known Jason and his brother Matt, two twins that I went to school with. And Jason said flat out, he put a, an interesting spin on it and he said, you know what, fat is not a disease. Now Jason's like 350 pounds. He was like 370 when that last time we had actually talked and he was starting to get his life together and fucking grab hold of things and move in a different direction and, and, and be more responsible for what's going on with him. And he said, it's not a disease like everybody says it is. Just like drug addiction. And I kind of sat back and said, I'd like to see this unfold. Let's see what's going to happen now. <laughs> and he said flat out, he said, it's a choice to be fat. And it's a choice to do drugs. And he's right. It's a choice to put that Twinkie in your mouth. It's a choice to put that cook in your mouth. It's a choice to shoot that drug in my arm that I used to shoot. Now, once you have it in your body, you have an addiction to it. And you have an issue with it. And it causes an issue. But it was your choice to begin with. If you have a genetic predisposition to be heavy okay in your family so now your choice as an adult to put that food in your mouth it's your choice that you fucking put that shit in your fucking body i had a predisposition in my family to substance abuse okay and i knew that i therefore made the choice to use alcohol and drugs and abuse them and then got addicted to them so the gene was there, and I should have known it already, and I did know it, but it was my choice. And I take that responsibility, and every goddamn fucking day, I take the responsibility to not do drugs. I take the resp responsibility to not drink alcohol, to not abuse my body. I take the responsibility to not be fucking fat anymore. Yeah, I've been fucking fat in my life. I was 272 fucking pounds. I mean, I was big as fuck. In 2011, I went up to 265 pounds, which there are pictures on my Facebook, where I'm fat as fuck. And I, you know what I did? I said, I'm tired of being fat as fuck. I did it on purpose to prove to my clients that if you gain weight, you can always fucking get it off when you fucking know how, when you have the tools. But the bottom line was, I was fat. I didn't walk around saying I'm fucking fluffy, I'm bulking, any of that shit. I was fucking fat. I was 265 pounds with like a fucking 38 inch waist. I was fucking fat. But you know what? In 12 goddamn weeks, I was back to 207 on stage and I was fucking lean again. Because I took responsibility. I didn't fucking complain. I didn't bitch and moan. I didn't act like these fucking people out there going, you're so mean to me, people. No, motherfucker, call me fat. You know why? Because I'm fat. At least I know it. You know what? Like, you can't call a spade a spade anymore. Like, nowadays, this is a bottle. You're like, no, it's not a bottle. It's a drinking device. Motherfucker, it's a bottle. This is a fucking Sharpie. No, it's not a Sharpie. It's a word writing device that fucking disperses ink. Motherfucker, can we have anything in this fucking world that's just what it is anymore? Or is everybody going to be offended? Sharpies are offended. Water bottles are offended. This fucking wireless mouse is going to get offended if I don't call it the wireless mouse. If it's just a mouse, it's going to get offended. Give me a fucking break. Like, I've had enough. So shut up about the fluff, you stupid fucking bitches and cunt bags who fucking sit there with your fat fucking jelly rolls hanging over your stomach on your fucking... Your jelly rolls are touching the fucking chair as you're sitting there talking about fucking I'm mean. Have you looked in the mirror? You're being mean to you. Training at gmail.com. Leave comments down below. But don't fight, you fucking fat fucks. www.biosetraining.com is a blog. It's the Shut Up Don Bicep. Curls for the girls, buddy. And we're out.